Alrighty. A History of the Vampire in Popular Culture by Violet Fenn. So, it goes with like the first like, um, novel of, um, like vampire, uh, the first mention of a vampire in a novel to a few different, um, film and film, TV, other, um, novels that, um, where vampires are a prominent character in some way. Um, she didn't mention like vampires and <laughs> the mortal instruments, but anyway. Um, but like a main reference is like um, obviously Dracula and um, Twilight. <laughs> um, like being the more modern one. So, um, mentions like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, among others. So, um, so, uh, on the origins of vampire, uh, so, tippet they can share it with other people. Prior to the 19th century, vampires didn't ex exist, or at least not in the form we would recognize them today. Before the advent of Gothic literature, those creatures we often describe as vampires were not only universally feared and loathed, they were often also physically ugly. The etymology of the word vampire is itself uncertain, but is widely assumed it is to have um, come from Hung Hungarian vampire is itself rooted in the old church Slavic Obri. The name certainly appears to be Slavic in origin, so it comes as no surprise that the vast majority of old um, vampire stories originate from Eastern Europe. So, Tibet. <laughs> um, book, film, TV references throughout time. So, um, past visa. Um, past like two and a bit centuries. Um, some historical points um, at the time or when um, certain like stories or like adaptations of uh, previous works were um, done. Um, so you get a bit of history, um, of, like a little bit of like Eastern Europe, European history, um, Stoker's Dracula, you get um, some information about that. Um, the Blood Countess, um, Elizabeth Bathory de Exed. Um, so, you get information about her. Um, Anne Rice interview with a vampire. So, you get um, that, Twilight, as I said. Um, Polydori, the vampire. Um, so, with like um, industrial revolution, sex being restricted, Bessentium 2012, um, film, um, uh, you get like a, I always, have, I don't know why I always have trouble with this word, chronologically, chronological events of vampire <laughs> history. Um, so 1614, um, the Countess dies under house arrest, having been accused of torture and murder of young women in her own employ. Um, Ninety-four, uh, the film adaptation of Interview. Then vampire released. 
um, 97 to 03, Buffy running. Um, Um, other like uh, True Blood premiering. Um, so if you like the popular culture vampire and want a bit of background um, at with at the time of them being written, um, you get you get like historical figures um, in here as well, and so. You get um, a decent amount of introductory information, um, and like um, the more known vampire stuff um, titles are um, talked about throughout this book. So um, you're not like there's a few titles that you're like um, if you're not um, uh, like somebody heavily in uh, in two vampires you're like okay that's the first time hearing of like this book or film but um, if you're somebody that likes vampires or like their effect on popular culture or anything um, this can be a good starting point and um, a jump off base of any further research so yeah a history of the vampire in popular popular culture Happy readings.